My name is Dylan Haddad. I am a SOC analyst at PLS Financial Services. Uh, for a little over a year now, about a year in three months, so yeah. I found it very useful in our day-to-day -day operations with uh, monitoring user activity and uh, looking at um, system analytics and system performance. I uh, found it very useful when investigating uh, threats like IPs, uh, seeing what's going on with our endpoints, like certain lateral movement that we've noticed. Um, Definitely found it very useful when looking at, uh, like say for example, uh, a compromised host or uh, a suspicious IP has been scanning us. And um, I've definitely found it very useful when uh, looking at some of the, uh, when I, let's say if I look at a log, they, it'll give me a detailed drill down of all the uh, information that's needed on what the rating is and the rating of the threat and uh, what action should be taken. That, it, it gives us, our, my team, a better idea of what we should do in terms of uh, improving our security posture. I definitely would say looking at the logs and uh, how much detail each log has when it uh, is ingested into our dashboards. I um, found it very useful when looking at, like say for example, what emails are inbound and outbound of our networks. Um, I like how detailed oriented the logs are in terms of like where, what's the origin and what network it's coming from and uh, what, and, it give, and I, I also like how basically how detailed it, um, the logs give us in terms of like what host, what user it's coming from. I just think it's, um, I mean it's my very first scene so, so far so good I have a um, pretty cohesive understanding of what like a threat intelligence um, looks like in terms of reviewing the um, what 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 we uh, have to deal with yes on a daily basis I when I look every day when I look at event logs I always use the filters on certain time ranges on um, certain AI uh, engine rules and uh, yeah I'd say that overall to have a very um, positive impact. It helps us um, expedite certain security incidences very quickly um, it's because how detailed oriented the logs are. Um, I'll say it overall, it really helps me um, report to my supervisor on whenever like we have a threat, for example, like someone's trying to scan us, uh, my boss will ask me, hey Dylan, can you look at this further? I'll go ahead and I'll use the searches and I'll use the lists that Logarithm Console has to offer and I will um, Within a matter of maybe like a very fat, uh, a timely fashion, I can able I can get back to him with detailed or uh, with more details on what the threat is. So yeah. Yeah, definitely it has. Yeah. By on a scale of one to ten, I would say probably seven. Okay. Yes. Um, so. Uh, for an example, if we have an, uh, a, for an, uh, a user who's traveling overseas, or we get a suspicious login from that uh, from VPN from a country that we're not familiar with, um, that definitely gives us uh, the ingest logs and um, some of the um, like. The team has overall given us a better um, comprehension of what type of um, activity that really is, and helps us exclude whether if it, if it's really a benign or legitimate. In terms of managing workflows, I would say it definitely has um, given us leverage on what our overall security posture is and what we need, and uh, gives us a better understanding of what we need to focus on more in terms of what threats are, are persisting. Um, I think that overall, that the, our workflows have been pretty seamless so far, and um, on the day-to-day -day, on the day -to day operations, um, I would say that maybe, uh, yes, maybe we could, uh, we look for more improvements with automation, but um, so far so good with terms of static manual investigations. It's, I would say it's, our workflow is pretty seamless.
I would say that uh, overall visibility, it gives us, um, I mean, we don't see all the blind spots, but it gives us enough understanding of that, it, it gives us enough information to where we can actually classify the threat. But um, in terms of um, blind spots, I mean, I think we are looking for more improvements in that because uh, we don't have visibility over everything because right, right now we just use a uh, logarithm for our um, on-prem solution, not our cloud solution. So um, I definitely think that um, we uh, can definitely use some more improvement with that for the next products. I would say ingesting logs into the web console user interface, probably updating the threat intelligence database so that we, because um, we get a lot of noise and oftentimes we see a lot of false positives, so possibly using um, like AI or machine learning, like with one of the breakout rooms I was attending, uh, possibly looking, probably implementing that more into the next product so that we can actually determine whether, okay, is this threat a false positive or is it legitimate? Overall, it's had a very positive impact. I would say it gives us a good visibility of what we need to see for right now. And it definitely um, gives us, like I said, a better understanding of what we deal with, what we um, should focus on in terms of what threats are more critical than others. And um, I would say in terms of our daily operations, it's very helpful. Yeah, it, it's definitely, um, it's given us um, what we need for now in terms of efficiency. I mean, we're looking to improve our efficiency um, in our next, as we uh, look into uh, what Logarithm has to offer for its newer products, but um, yeah, I would say it's pretty efficient. Yeah, I would say overall, like um, you wanted to give a scale of one to 10, I would say probably around eight or nine in terms of efficiency. I mean, my, my, immediately, my immediate coworkers in my department were able to uh, use what we have right now for um, looking at critical alerts, looking at um, user analytics and um, overall IT operations. So uh, I would say, um, in terms of like, because we, we usually use a, have a daily uh, operations of uh, looking at all user activity throughout our organization. So we definitely think it's so far, it's pretty robust. But again, we are looking for more improvements. Definitely say that they're been, uh, they don't understand cybersecurity. Because, I mean, a seam is what allows SOC analysts like myself to be successful. If without a seam, I mean, how could we see everything? We can't. Um, excellent service and technical support. They're very prompt with getting back to our team regardless of what the severity of the incident, incident is. And um, I overall have had a great experience with this so far. Definitely like a 9.5 to 10, definitely. I think it's, uh, in terms of using it for on-prem, very uh, stable. I mean, granted there are some hiccups we have here and there, but that's what we you know, reach out to tech support for, and that's when they're able to you know, provide us with immediate support and the willing to really put in the effort and uh, figuring out what the causation of the problem is until it's fixed in a timely fashion. So, yeah, that's pretty good. I think, um, I think the scalability is, um, so far, it's very robust. And uh, I feel like, personally, I look forward to hearing about what its latest, pro or la the latest logarithm products can do in terms of uh, uh, using it for on-prem and in cloud. So, yeah. Overall, 10 out of 10.